Hey my cuckoo beans, I'm my love. Welcome back to Celebrity Nails Check, you guys. And we are going to record a bit today. <laughs> Anyways, oh yeah, this is a new brand I'm working with, PVT, and you'll be uh, seeing the new video on Tuesday. So I'm just showing you what I use as a peel off base coat. It's just some nail strengthener and it works perfectly. So yeah, let's start with the nail tips, you guys today we are going with some stiletto nails as you can see extra 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 long <laughs> and yeah um gotta be nails you know so i'm not going with something complicated y'all just poly gel will be doing them you know but before we go please do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and you guys thank you so much for being here with me i appreciate you so much so much so much i love you y'all anyways um yeah so that's all i'm doing is just putting on some base coat you know the tralala and yeah covering up my nails i won't be showing you all the process of doing that because we already know how it goes there's plenty video on this channel about it but yeah just showing you one finger so we can accelerate and go to their their steps oh yeah <laughs> all the steps and yeah um that's all i'm doing y'all i'm just building the nail to make it sturdier and which i did with a clear poly gel and i'm sorry if you can see that i'm struggling but i was struggling weirdly um the poly gel from Ohuhu, the clear one it's kind of complicated it was pretty hard to work with but once it's set it's like going very uh fluid it's like going very soft and, and leaking everywhere i don't know it was weird but i i kind of loved it because it was sturdy and yeah that's all i did i built the nail up until it was good thick enough so it doesn't break and it was very thick because when you have such a long nails you have to have an opacity and an apex very consistent so it doesn't break or hurt yourself when you hit something so that's all i did i just went ahead and built the nail up so it doesn't take me too much time to file which i did you know and yeah that's all i'm doing and afterwards we'll be ready to file once we are done finished building the nails you guys we're ready to file and i didn't need too much work on the filing i just use my nail file you know to be able to make the uh, tips of the nails kind of very pointy because that's what we're going for and yeah it didn't take me that long but it took me long <laughs> so once i finish working on my hand you guys i have to take a pose and the pose like <laughs> the post took forever before I come back on the nail but that's all I do I file I try to work hard on the, on the cuticle so I don't need too much modifying and rubbing my file against my cuticle so that's all I did y'all So once it was done, like I told you, a long time after that. One hour later, two hours later, 
three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Finally done with everything, y'all. It took me forever, to, like the next day, to finish. But yeah, um, we're about to start with the lavender nails, y'all. And I was supposed to go with some color underneath my nails, but I changed my mind. You know, the lavender color from Beauty was so pretty. Purity or Beauty? I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I, I would go with Purity. And yeah. The lavender was so pretty you guys i couldn't i couldn't waste it with another color under you know so that's all i did i went with two coats so it can be a little bit more you know uh, opaque but i just went with two coats because the nails are that long but the colors were already creamy and so opaque i was like with one coat it was already covered i just went with two coats separately so it can dry faster you know with my problem of lamp so that's all i did and it didn't help nothing it was perfect so i still gonna be using the way i use from now on to apply my gel polish but yeah that's all i did That's all I did, y'all. Then once I was finished, you go ahead and top coat it so it'll be ready for the rhinestones. Um, I couldn't see the details perfectly on the hand, so I just went ahead and freestyle in my head, you know, like try to highball and see what exactly she had on the on the nails. But I went ahead and freestyle the rhinestones. So that's all I did, y'all. It's time for some rhinestones and like I already showed you I build box myself and I'll be using my uh, beetle gel nail glue and my lamp to be able to put the rhinestones on I just went ahead and you know I didn't freestyle it I designed the rhinestone placement on the paper so I can be able to know what I'm doing and I repeat it on any every finger you know what I mean so yeah that's all I did but yeah um I liked it pretty much and I hope you like it too. I'll let you watch that. And you know as usual we're going with the uh, cuticle oil I know I wasn't done with the video but I was like let me just try to be presentable after washing my hands so many times so yeah here's the result y'all and um, I popped them off really like two days later and I now have some press on nails now we are on with the left hand you guys and this is my favorite y'all <laughs> and we are going for some red button nails i i didn't win exactly on the reproduction of this one because one i didn't have no red rhinestones and two like the bottom of the nails wearing this uh red no red bottom but i went ahead and do it you know i wanted to just do it and i'm using the model ones um painting gel the black painting gel as um as a gel polish because my nails were so long i couldn't use a regular gel polish so i went in the painting and it worked pretty good and i went ahead and top coated with a uh, pretty top coat and it sealed everything it cured very nicely i was scared it would be you know not cured and all that but 
he did the job and I was pretty satisfied with the top coat yeah and don't forget to clean everything spilled around before curing so it doesn't mess up your design So yeah, it's a no wipe top coat, so I just go ahead and keep doing my design, y'all. And that's all I did. I'm using the Bed Nail Gel Polish for underneath my nail. I really love the red. It's so bright. I already did the Valentine's Day uh, nail design with it. So you already saw this color before, but yeah, I really love it. It gave me like an Halloween vampire kind of vibe, but it was so pretty. It was all in the right theme. And I kind of had the idea looking at my right bottom myself. I had the shoes working well, you know, <laughs> laying around here. My feet and my knees cannot do this escapades no more. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I did. I went ahead and I carried for like 90 seconds, very hot 90 seconds. Uh, 60 second hot and 30 second hot and then afterwards I go ahead with some um, Gel top coat It's a no white top coat, you know, so everything went really smoothly and then after that We are ready for the foil application So yeah, I went ahead and chose the red uh, nail chrome foil. It, when you apply it, it goes like powder, y'all. <laughs> I don't know why it was doing that, but yeah, I chose this vibrant red and I go ahead and apply the red on my nails to um, stick with the transfer foil. It's a gel glue that you have to cure. It's not like the other one and you just put and let it hair dry. This one needs to be cured in the lamp for like, I think I cured it for 40 seconds so it can still be tacky. And yeah, I just drew the, um, because I don't have any red jewelry or rhinestones for my nails. So that's why I'm doing that. I drew the glue, you know, the shape is supposed to take and how she had the, the, a rhinestone going and then I go ahead and apply the transfer foil then I clean all the excess that you know what is not supposed to be on the nail before I start going with the glue on top of it so I can apply the rhinestone so that's all I did I put the glue I cure it for 40 seconds apply the transfer foil clean with some alcohol pad and my uh, brush and then go again with some nail glue on top of the transfer foil so I can you know be able to put the um the rhinestones
oh yes before i can continue i forgot i used some caviar beads that was my first time here and i couldn't handle it with these long nails on like <laughs> i was struggling you can see it i couldn't hold the bottle because it was so small and then it was going everywhere like i wasted half of the bottle on the floor anyways that's what i did then you know cure it then go again do the same with the other nails and apply the translucent transparent rhinestones on this you know all just on the red side so it can reflect the red one and act like i had some red rhinestones rhinestones on so that's all i did y'all So yeah y'all this is the final result i hope you love it because i love it <laughs> and yeah i took them off two days later it was a very long time with some long nails on anyways i love you guys i appreciate y'all and thank you for the support i don't forget the comment section you see the time it was taking me forever and thank you for being all on my section commenting and i appreciate y'all i love you guys i see you next week bye bye